Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona. Hope you're doing great. Welcome to a new class here at the Inglés Corporativo. How are you doing tonight? All good? Most of you? All good. All good. Good. All right. Fantastic. Thank you very much for being here one more time. Now, as you know, um, what was, let's get down to business. What was Thursday's topic? Let's see if you remember. What was Thursday's topic? What was the tema jueves? Relations with adjectives and nouns. Evaluations with adjectives and nouns. That's right. Um, good job, Carla. Who can give me an example of this? Just one. Do not a whole lot. Just one. The room is too shabby. I'm sorry? The room is too shabby. The room is too... Chevy, desgastado. How do you write it down? I might not know that. I might not know that word. How do you write it down? Or how do you the spell apartment, it? The apartment has expensive has house. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna get there real soon. Um. David, the example is good, but I, I didn't understand the word. Yo no entendí la palabra. So okay. I want to know if I can help you or if I don't know it. What is the word that you were saying? What is the palabra que tú decías? Es de castado. How do you write it down? How do you spell it? S H S H A B B N Yay. Oh, okay. Shabby. Yes, Shabby. S H A B B Y. Yes. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, that's like um, de gastado, estar talado. Okay. Got it. So I'm going to write it down. I normally don't use that word, but now I will, thanks to you. Thank you. I'm going to write it down in the chat. Where's the chat? Oh, here it is. Shabby. It's like desaliñado, desgastado. Not in a good condition. Good. So, my dear friends, we were using evaluations with adjectives and with nouns. Right? Today, and we actually practice both. Practicamos ambos. Today, the class is going to be focused on comparisons. All right, so we are going to do a quick review. Vamos a hacer un pequeño, un pequeño repaso porque sé que no es un tema tan sencillo. But we're going to focus today in comparisons more than evaluations. All right, so let's get down to business and let's get this going. Go ahead and read with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think that was Carla, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and help her out. Are you and I help her out? Practice using adjectives and nouns. To express comparisons in English. To express comparisons in English. Remember here, I want to hear you express. 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 Uh -huh. That's right. Express. Every time that you pronounce, pretend that you are a gringo in El Tunco. Oh, que bonito ser aquí. Right? That type of explosion. They cannot say que bonito ser aquí because their phonemes are different. Que bonito ser aquí. Remember that. Um, in this lesson. In this in lesson. This lesson. In this lesson Practice comparing houses and apartments. Practice, Practice comparing, comparing houses and apartments. apartments to express similarities or differences. To express similarities or differences. Mm -hmm. Additionally, additionally, learn how to use expressions of quantity. Like just as, like, like just, just as, as, just as, 
Just, just has, has enough, enough, enough or too much. Or too, or too much. much. To modify adjectives and nouns. To, to modify, modify adjectives, adjectives and nouns. And nouns. Mm -hmm. For example. For example. For example. Exa there's a little bit of vibration right there. For example. For example. For example. Just as comfortable or too few classes. Now, the tip of today, uno de los tips de hoy, this, you're going to link it here, just has. This is a link from consonant to vowels. Now, what are the vowels, guys? ¿Cuáles son las vowels? A, I, a, E, I, I, O, U, O, U, 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 Like in Spanish, right? I, O. And what are the consonants? B, C, D, C, D, 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 the rest. D, uh -huh. The rest. We say B, C, D. Uh -huh. B, C, D, F, G, H, et cetera, et cetera. So when we have a consonant plus a vowel, we're going to link it. Cuando tenemos consonante, y el sonido que viene después es de vocal, lo vamos a unir. ¿Ok? Y esto se llama health sound. La T no la vamos a soltar. No vamos a decir just as. Ahí la solté. Just as. That's incorrect. We are going to hold it. Lo vamos a mantener. So vamos a hacer, do not repeat. Please, do not repeat. Just listen. Just as. All right? La suelto junto con la just as. Just as. No sería just as. Just as. So, cuando ustedes vean que una palabra termina en T, van a sostener el sonido de la T y lo sueltan con la vocal. Eso prácticamente con todos, para que suenen más fluidos. If you say, I am just as, aparte de que se pueden cansar por estarlo parando tanto, la persona inmediatamente va a, seguir, va a saber That's not a native speaker, right? Y les puede hasta molestar escucharlos si no lo unen. So, just as. Say with me, please. Just as. Just as. Just as. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Just, like, as. just as. Just as. Just as. Mm -hmm. That's right. Just as. Very good. So, let's go ahead and continue, guys. That was the tip of the day. Consonant plus vowel. So, comparatives with adjectives and noun. This is a... Is a quite a long video but we are using the same as yes as Thursday es un poquito largo el video pero estamos ocupando lo mismo que el jueves okay so let's go ahead and mute your mics and let's pay attention to this one lo voy a estar pausando de vez en cuando para ver si aquí están todavía o si tienen okay. preguntas más que todo si tienen preguntas So let me express similarities about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to express similarities about your house and your neighbor's house. For example, you'll be able to make the following comparisons. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. In this class, we're going to learn how to make comparisons with adjectives. And we're also going to learn how to make comparisons with nouns. And what do I mean by adjectives? Well, if we look at the adjective convenient, and what do I mean by nouns? Well, if we look at the noun rooms or privacy, that's what I mean by adjectives and nouns. So let me present the formula at this time. What we want to do is we want to make sense of the comparisons that are towards the bottom. We're going to start with comparisons with adjectives. So in order for us to make sense of this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, write the same example that is there. And then we're going to make a few more to make sure that we understand the topic. So first of all, we're going to have some sort of subject. 
this is going to be followed by the verb to be. The verb to be can be in its positive form or in its negative form. And it will, then it will be followed by as, the adjective, and as. So quick example, houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Towards the end, you will include whatever it is that you're comparing your subject with. So in this case, I'm comparing houses versus apartments. All right, guys, we're going to use these example right now. How do you say las, los apartamentos no son tan grandes como las casas? The apartments, the apartments aren't, aren't, aren't as big as, 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 as houses. As houses, that's right. As we are houses. trying to compare everything. So apartments aren't as big as houses. Okay. Esto no es tan esto como esto. Apartments aren't as big as houses. All right. Now keep an eye on this because we are start thinking about it. We are com going to compare um, cars versus bikes, motorcycles. When when we have the chance, we are also going to compare dogs versus cats girls versus boys public transportation and having your own transportation method so start thinking on what examples you can give empiecen a pensar en qué ejemplos podemos dar con esos escenarios eh, chucho versus gatos motos versus carros um, transporte público versus transporte propio chicos versus chicas okay so start thinking about it Let's continue. Do you have any question about the video so far? No. No? No. All right. Let's rock it then. No. Mute your mics, please. Now let me give another example. What I want to do now is I'm going to choose a different subject. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments. And what I'm going to say, I'm going to continue to make negative statements there. Apartments aren't as, and I'm going to say expensive as houses apartments aren't as quiet as houses and you can say apartments aren't as and I'll use the adjective here spacious as houses what I would like to do now is explain how to express similarities. That means that they are the same or almost the same. And that's our last example there. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. That opinion means that they are the same. So I want you to take a look at that example. Apartments, that's going to follow the birth to be in its positive form. And then it's going to follow as or just as okay actually um, you can either say just as or you can simply say as and and both will be the correct way of expressing it so we can say apartments are just as expensive as houses and that's my personal opinion right you can simply say apartments are as expensive as houses and you can use any adjective to compare the two. You can say apartments are as quiet as houses. Apartments are as spacious as houses. Apartments are as convenient, just like we see the example there, right? As All right, so before we continue, guys, the previous structure was for you to compare. This is not as big as this. Este no es tan grande como este. Este no es tan barato como este. Este no es tan conveniente como este. This other structure that we are using just as or simply as is like this is the same as the other. Now, I don't know if you have a house si ya pudieron comprarse su casa, su apartamento, pero son igual de caros. Right? So, apartments are 
as expensive as houses. Los apartamentos son tan caros como las casas. Right? Now, for example, how do you say los gatos son tan adorables como los perros? Dogs are, are uh -huh. as uh, adorable as dogs. Are dogs. Uh -huh. adorable as dogs. Cats or dogs, no importa con cuál empezamos. Mm -hmm. Cats, Cats are, are as, as, as adorable, adorable as, as dogs. As dog. dogs. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, here you can use is or are, depends depending on the subject. Now, how do you say, mi hermano es tan alto como mi hermana? My brother, my brother is, is as, tall as, tall as tall as my, as my sister. sister. That's right. Now, let's go ahead and follow the cursor. My brother... Say with me, please. My brother... My brother is as tall as, tall as, as my, my sister. sister. My, my sister. sister. <laughs> That's right. So remember, this is comparing in the negative way. Este no es tan tal cosa como este. And this is comparing the same. Este sí es tal cosa como este. Vamos bien ahí? Are we clear Teacher, on that I have a question. Go ahead, girl. When you use just? Is, you can just. use just as or, mm -hmm. ju or just as. Como usted quiera. Just as. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Just as Just. or as. It's the same thing. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's for the same purpose. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question before we continue? No. No? All right. So no. Let's go ahead and mute your mic and let's go ahead and check it. Make sure you write down some examples. Houses. And so remember that this kind of things you're making comparisons. So maybe in your area, apartments are the same as houses. So they cost the same. You know they are as big as houses. Uh, apartments are as convenient as houses, etc. Usually that's not the case. Usually there are big differences among houses and apartments. But in this case, we're saying that they are the same. What I would like to do now is to show you how to make comparisons, but this time I'm going to show you how to make comparisons with nouns. And what do I mean by nouns? Well, when we talk about nouns in the context of comparing houses and apartments, we can think of things like rooms, privacy, bedrooms, bathrooms, kitchens, anything that has to do with what's inside of a house or outside of a house those are nouns if you will and what I would like to do is to propose this formula that you see towards the bottom in order for us to make sense of this comparison here on the top so first of all we're gonna have some sort of subject so in this case as you can see apartments is um, our uh, subject there I'm gonna go ahead and make this small because I want it to fit on the screen so apartments that follows the verb the verb can be in its po in its positive form or in its negative form and then we're gonna include as or just as as you can see there and after that you will include many plus account now so I want you to pay attention to that real fast we're gonna have many plus a count noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are those things that you can easily count. If you recall the previous lesson that we saw where we talked about count nouns and non-count nouns, we said that count nouns are those things that you can easily count. Or this will follow much plus a non-count noun. So I want you to look at that for a moment now. And what do we mean by non-count? Well, Again, recalling the previous lesson that we saw, we learned that non-count nouns are those things that are difficult to count. And then it's going to follow as plus some sort of noun. So let me write the example here. Apartments have as many rooms as houses. And then we'll take that last example there. Apartments don't have 
much privacy as houses. In our first example, we're saying that they are pretty much the same, so they're quite similar. In our second example, we are saying that there's a difference between houses and apartments, and that is that apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. And then again, you can make many different comparisons between houses and apartments. What else can you say? Well, you can say that apartments don't have as many windows as houses. That might be the case. You can say that apartments don't have as much space as houses. Finally, the last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice these concepts that we have learned. We have. All right, guys. So let's come back with this one. Now, how do you say? Um, here is pretty much that something we are comparing with nouns, right? How do you say? Un perro grande no come tanto como uno chiquito. Mm -hmm. That's right. I know I'm changing from apartment to houses, right? A big dog. A big dog. It. A big dog. 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 Don't doesn't eat. eat. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't eat. eat. Here, doesn't eat. Aquí va con el verbo. As much or many. As as me, me, much, much food. Uh -huh. much, what do we use for countable nouns? Much. Much. Much, much, much or many. Many. Much, many. Many. To count is many. To count. Uh -huh. Countable nouns is many, and for uncountable. Much. 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 Exactly. So let's go ahead and follow the structure again. You can talk about whatever you want. You can change the subject, the, the verb here, and you can change the noun. A big dog doesn't eat as much. As much. Bueno, sería aquí as much food as small dog. Now, how do you say una moto no gasta tanto a gasolina como un camión? O las motos, pueden ser en singular o plural, en dos en madre. Bikes. Bikes. Motorcycle. motorcycle doesn't. 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 Expensive. Doesn't Ajá, yes. good, good. Expense. Vamos aquí paso a paso para que sigamos eh, con la estructura. Ale, expense o expensive. Spend. 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 Exactly. Now we have a spend and waste. Waste is a negative meaning. Okay? Spend is okay. just, you can spend time, you can spend money. Pueden gastar tiempo o dinero. Spend. Spend. Mm -hmm. No necesariamente es malo. I spend $50 on this cell phone, for example. Waste okay. is the negative thing. Man, I wasted $50 on this phone. Como me lo, lo desperdicié, pues, waste. So you can waste time or you can spend time. Spend is a positive, waste is negative. So here, bikes. Okay. Bikes does, doesn't, doesn't spend. Doesn't spend. Doesn't spend. As, 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 as full. Full. Ajá, el es noun que estamos ocupando, el, el, los dos ocupan gasolina, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el mínimo común denominador? El noun. Esto no gasta tanto qué, tanta gas como esto. El común que estamos ocupando para comparar es el noun. So, bikes doesn't spend as much gas as, as, as trucks car. or cars. Right? Um, how do you say, mi hermano no come tanto como mi hermana? 
My brother. My brother. brother. Thanks. Thanks. As much. As much. As much. No se me vayan. No se me vayan. Sigue, sigue en el cursor para que todos estemos en el mismo. Un poquito más lento al principio, pero después pueden meterle el sprint. My brother. My brother. My brother. Doesn't. Doesn't eat. Doesn't eat. Much. As. 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 ¿Cuál? Much. Much food. Much. Much food. As, as, my, as, sister. as, as my, sister. my sister. Exactly. Now, um, here. Aha. Uh -huh. Which one of you guys like to have a lot of pairs of shoes? There's people who love having like five, six, seven, eight, ten pairs of shoes. Para de zapatos. So, I don't like that. Right? A mí no me gusta tener tantos pares de zapatos porque no los ocupo. So, I can say, oops. I can say, Alejandro doesn't have, doesn't have as, as many Many pairs of shoes, pair of shoes. shoes as, of shoes. Uh, as Caesar, for example. Caesar. Good. Now, here remember that we can use negative or affirmative. Acuérdense que con affirmative si tiene lo mismo. Sara drinks as many Glasses of water as Tatiana. Is it clear, guys? Mm. Speak no. now or be quiet forever. Again. Okay. okay. No worries. All right. Let me get ready here. There we go. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> boy. Hi, boy. Give me a second. Ahorita no lo estoy escribiendo. Yeah, right now I'm not. I'm looking for the chat right now. Se me pierde a veces el bandido. Give me a second. <laughs> All right. Where are you, chat? Oh, here it is. So let's go ahead and use comparisons with nouns. But let me ask you a question. You got to practice this. Tienen que practicar ahí donde se dan cuenta. But do you understand comparisons with adjectives? Con adjetivos estamos no. más o menos? Yes. 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 Mm, okay. More or less. Más o menos. All right. Good. Um, comparison with nouns es que nos cuesta, right? Vaya. How do you say? Let's go ahead and use the structure, the affirmative structure. How do you say? Um, me como Rómulo se come tantas pupusas como Luis. Rómulo. Rómulo. Rómulo eats. Eats. Ajá. It as. Has as many. many. ¿Por qué as many? Porque es contable. Ok, good. Rómulo eats as many pupusas. ¿Como quién? As Luis. As Luis. 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 Rómulo eats. That's in the chat. Romulo eats as many pupusas as Luis. Now, digamos que Romulo está a dieta. Quiere bajar ahí la panza. So, how do we say Romulo no come tantas pupusas como Luis? Romulo as many pupusas as Luis. As many pupusas as Luis. As Luis. Okay. So, El mínimo, común, el mínimo común denominador aquí es que estamos hablando de que las pupusas. La comparación entre Rómulo y Luis es cuántas pupusas se comen. Sí. Right? Now, try to give me some examples in English or Spanish. And we are going to make them in affirmative and negative. Anybody can participate. Newspaper don't have as much information as social networks. Nice. Yes, I like it. Newspapers, let's go ahead and check the structure. Doesn't have. Okay, la tenemos. So, newspapers 
doesn't have as much much information information as, as an social media social media social media mm -hmm. Ahora, como decimos, los periódicos tienen tanta información como las redes sociales. Por motivos de ejemplo, nada más. Newspaper. Newspapers. 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 Good. Now, information is noun. It's a nombre de algo. Information. Give me another one, please. John, uh, John speak has uh, much mm -hmm. has um, Tatiana. Okay. Nice. I like it. John. Ah, pero es que aquí nos falta, si se fijan, nos falta el, el noun. Habla mm -hmm. qué? John speaks English. Ajá, as much English, English as Tatiana. How do you say John, John habla tanto as inglés much como English Tatiana? As Tatiana? John doesn't speak as doesn't speak as Ay, ¿por qué lo quitó? No, no lo quité, ahí está todavía. Ay. So, John speaks as much English as Tatiana. John habla tanto inglés como Tatiana. Now, how do you say John no habla tanto inglés como Tatiana? Yeah. John doesn't, doesn't speak, speak as, much as, as, as much English as, 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 English as, as Tatiana. As Tatiana. Uh -huh. John There we go. Doesn't, doesn't speak as much English as Tatiana. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, just or as in affirmative is that they are the same. Doesn't is not the same. Give me one last example before you go you go practicing. Uh, dogs doesn't show as as much love as cats. Nice. I like it. Dogs doesn't show as much love. Can I have a usted? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I see. <laughs> okay, good. Let's go ahead and change it. Cats. Cat doesn't show as much love as dogs. Mm -hmm. That's right. Cats doesn't show as much love as dogs. And let's pretend that they are the same. Mira, yo difiero. Eh, yo sé que los chuchos y los gatos muestran su cariño igualmente. Cuando llego, se me andan descargando, bla, bla, bla. Vaya usted a saber sus, sus razones. How do we do this in affirmative? ¿Cómo se muestra esto en afirmativo? Los gatos muestran tanto amor como los perros. Cat show as much love as dogs. Show as love. Show as love. As much love. As dogs. Cats show as much love as dogs. All right, guys. So don't be afraid of this. Again, this is something that I'm pretty sure that you will be able to, to manage. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group. And I need you to please start comparing. We are going to start comparing cars versus motorcycles. Okay. Then we are going to compare dogs versus cats, boys versus girls. And what was the last one? Cats. I forgot the last one. Okay. Um, I don't know about you. Boys and girls. Aha, uh -huh. mm -hmm. we have boys and girls. Um, I forgot. Boys and girls. Cars education. Versus motorcycles. Public and, uh, education versus private education. Okay. Let's go ahead and write that. I like it. We're going to get the categories right here. Categories to compare. Dogs versus cats. Boys versus girls. Education, public education. 
Versus private. Versus private education. What was the other one I said? Cars, Cars versus, versus motorcycles. motorcycles. And public transportation versus having your own transportation. Esto sí lo van a dejar. Having your own transportation será, va a ser su sujeto. Así como está. All right, guys. So go ahead and accept the invite. I'm going to open up the group. Remember, I'm going to be visiting you. Just do your best. And you will see that you will understand with practice. We're going to have... Three or four participants per room. Acuérdense que los grupos no los escojo yo, los escojo el sistema. All right, go ahead and accept the invite, please. We are ready. Mm, cats doesn't eat um, as much food as dogs. Good example. Another one? Dogs versus cats. Ah, no. Uh, boys versus girls. Mm -hmm. Cool. Me. Okay, no. There's... Who oh, Laura. To... Laura. Mm, no, the boy. Boy versus girl. Yeah, boy mm -hmm. versus girls. Boy are tall. Eh, uh, ¿Cómo sería? Los chicos son más altos que las chicas. Boy are tall as much. As girl. Hmm. Um, um, boy. Tall. As, what is tall? Uh, is is tall a noun or an I adjective? What? Uh -huh. Is that a noun or an adjective? A noun. An adjective. In as an adjective. Uh huh. So say it again, please. Try again. Aura. Mm -hmm. Who say that? Yeah, who, who gave that example? Say Repeat it again. again. Repeat it. ¿Quién dio el ejemplo el el ejemplo previo de los que no eran tan altos? Laura. Ah, no, no, okay. Tati. Yo, 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 yo. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Say it again, please. Dígalo de nuevo. Boy, boy are tall as much as girl. Girl. Ah, okay. Good. Um, that's what I wanted to, to tell you. Si usted está ocupando adjetivos, tall, va a ocupar los ejemplos de la izquierda. 
Si usted se fija en los derechos donde lleva many and much, eso no lleva, eso va con los nouns, como cuartos o privacidad, el nombre. Para adjetivos ocupamos la de la izquierda, que ocupamos para describir. Right? So you can say, uh, girls aren't as tall as boys, o, or the opposite, right? Boys aren't as tall as boys. So you're going to use the one Repeat. on the left. Boys aren't as tall as girls. Boys aren't as tall as girls. Mm -hmm. As tall All right. uh -huh. as girls. Mm -hmm. Solo eh, piensen si están ocupando. Primero, yo les aconsejo que primero elijan qué van, qué van a ocupar para comparar. Ya sea un adjetivo, si es adjetivo, ocupen la columna de la izquierda, ya sea para afirmativo o para, neg o para negativo. Si es noun, ahí sí pueden ocupar many and much, ocupan la de la derecha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Keep on trying. Me. Mm -hmm. Public education is bad as private education. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, I, I like the example. We are just missing as. Public education is as bad as private education. Is as. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But. Mm, another example, um, private, ed private education is as expensive as, no. Ay, ya me perdí. Um, private education. Private. What? Private education. Ah, private education. Mm -hmm. um, is as expensive um, as a public education or I'm missing one no one that's more, good I that's think. good the order good. is the one you need to change tendría que ser en negativo si tú quieres ocupar caro ah ya 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 okay ¿qué vas a poner primero? tal cosa no es tan cara como tal cosa Ah, ok, entonces. Uh -huh. um, public education uh -huh. doesn't, doesn't. Isn't. Oh, isn't as, as expensive uh -huh. as private, private education. As private education. Private education. There private, you go. Ahí estamos, private. poco a poco. Ahí nos vamos dando en la frente, pero ahí vamos. Good. So, guys. Private. Yeah. Private. Okay. Pay attention. Are you using a noun or an adjective? Y desde ahí se van con lo demás. Noun, the, 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 the right side, eh? Mm -hmm. That's right. Noun es el nombre de las cosas. Um, mm -hmm. Adjective es una descripción. Caro, barato, bonito, feo, redondo, negro, blanco, todo eso es descripción. Okay, okay. okay. You guys, you can do this. Thank you. Welcome. Sí. Mm -hmm. Plural. Plural. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cars are uh, more security. No. Uh, as motorcycle. The adjective are is safe. Um, safe. Aha. Uh -huh. Entonces, cars are safe as 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 are as. as, 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 as are as more monocycle. Mm. Oh. Almost there. Almost there, but we are missing something. Cars are as safe as motorcycle. Almost. Yes. No, that's good. Mm. O sea, oh, okay. no es cierto, ¿verdad? Pero grammatically <laughs> 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 is correct. <clears throat> so mm. you can say, Cars are as safe as motorcycles. That's a good example. And when you say motorcycles are not as safe as bike, 
as cars. Mm. Or huh? bicycles, maybe. Oh, yeah, in that case, that's good. Okay. The thing is that bike can be either a motorcycle or a bicycle. Ah, okay, bicycle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice, you're doing great. Continue. I want to hear one more example before I leave. Okay. Cats are not friendly, convenient as dogs. As friendly and convenient as dogs? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. The only difference and convenient. is that... Uh -huh. And okay. convenient because okay. you are using two adjectives. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. So use two adjectives. It's okay. Just make sure you okay. use and. Good job. Um, girls are mm, girls are sweet as no girls are as a, a much sweet as boys. Okay, ahí vamos, good. Sweet, ¿eso es un noun o estás describiendo? Eh, describiendo quería decir este más... Ajá. Exacto, si estás describiendo va a ser la columna de la derecha o de la izquierda. Um... Eso sería no contable. Ajá, pero no, no sé si están viendo la imagen que les mandé a WhatsApp. En la parte de izquierda no. es donde ocupamos no. los adjetivos. Adjetivos. Ajá. Entonces, si tú dices sweet, es dulce. Oh, él es un niño dulce, ella es una niña dulce. ¿Ocupas? La de la izquierda. Ahí no se, no se ocupa much ni many. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, querían ser nouns. Give it a try. Try again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, girls. Mm -hmm. Girls are mm -hmm. as much sweet as girl, as boy. Excellent. Solo quitemos el much, que no lo lleva. But the rest, much. say it again, please. Sing el much. Okay. Girl are as a sweet as boy as boys mm -hmm. girls are as sweet as boys mm -hmm. nice good job sir good job good job keep it up that way mm -hmm. okay. let's continue guys okay okay for example public a motorcycle do not uh, pollution or pollute as much as cars Pollute. Pollute. Uh -huh. Ok, las motos Pollute. no contaminan tanto como los carros. Ok. okay. Great example. Great example, Caesar. Just make sure okay, you use try. bikes in plural. Oh, in plural. Ok. Ok. And, and only with public transportation. What do you think? Uh, my opinion with uh, public transportation. Yes. Ah, okay. It, uh, compare my with... opinion was uh, private education is not uh, uh, um, private public... education. education. No, about uh -huh, about transportation or having your your own transportation. With compare it with adjective, I think is um, transportation. Oh, okay. In Spanish, uh -huh. transportation acerca de tu propio transporte. Having mm. your own transportation. No, I I don't own transportation teacher. No, no worries, oh, okay. no worries, no, homie. No, but oh, either oh, way, you can give me your compare. opinion. Mm -hmm. Or in Spanish, mm -hmm. he, and I try to, mm -hmm. That's to right. put in the form. <clears throat> Some, I'm sorry. Something like, tener tu propio transporte es más conveniente que eh, transporte público. Cosas mm -hmm. así. No, no necesariamente tenés que tenerlo para opinar. 
así como muchos hacen en Facebook, ¿verdad? que todos son políticos, uh -huh. epidemiólogos. Veamos un ejemplo. <risa> right? sí. Yes. Sí, claro. Ok. Public transportation is uh, just as uh, convenient as a uh, own. Um, as having. As having a, your uh, uh, having own transportation. Uh -huh, your own transportation. Good job, Omi. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's difficult to study grammar teacher. <laughs> Only nice. the tip is, is practice. Yeah, that's right. What, what is the, the key? The key is understand the structure. Okay. Once you understand yes. the structure, practice. Okay. Okay. Nice. All right. This subject must bear must plus. There you go. Keep okay. up. Keep up. Let okay. me check another group. Okay. Go ahead, teacher. teacher. Hola. ¿Cómo fue? Uh, the river is little as much ocean as ocean. Mm. Creo que sería the river as much little as ocean. Uh, little son tan no. pequeños como el océano. Ah, ¿o cómo sería? Yo lo, yo lo tengo. The river is as small as ocean. Ah, ok. The rivers. Rivers. Ajá. Uh -huh. Now, are you watching the image? ¿Están viendo la imagen? Que les mandé en WhatsApp. No. No. Ahorita lo veo. Deberían. Está la estructura. So, Ahorita. are you talking about a noun or an adjective? Ahí ustedes van a saber si van a ocupar la de la izquierda o la de la derecha. Ok. Esta sería de nouns, vean. Ah, no, adjectives. Uh -huh. ¿Qué adjetivo sería? That's right. So, rivers aren't as big as the ocean. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. The river... The river aren't... Uh -huh. As big, bigger as, big. as the ocean. As big, ahí está, solo as big. Ah, as big. As big uh -huh. as, as ocean. ocean. As the ocean. The uh, river, the river, the river. The, the bigger aren't, aren't as big uh -huh. as ocean. As the ocean. As the ocean. Ah. As the ocean. Okay, 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 okay. Ahora Teacher, we have an, uh, question. Go ahead, sir. Uh, how do you say cancha de basketball? Basketball court. 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 Mm -hmm. court. Basketball court. ¿Cómo se escribe court? Court. Court. Oh. Court. Court. Y la de fútbol sería soccer field, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm, that's right. Field okay. is going to be an open space. Like baseball field, um, golf field, soccer field. And courts are smaller. Like, for example, basketball court, tennis court, um, squash ah, okay. court, etc. Ah, okay, 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 okay. All right. Continue, guys. Let me check the last group. You're doing great. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Vaya, Ingrid, te falta una. Vaya, uh, entonces. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Hey, what's up? Hi, teacher. <laughs> what's We up? are practicing with another examples. <laughs> with other examples. All right, sure. Show me what you got. All right. For example, I can tell you, chocolate aren't as delicious as caramel. Nice, I like it. Just make sure you say chocolate isn't because it's uncountable. Oh, uh, yeah. I have a so, great structure. Huh? Tell me some more. Uh, the, the home office is as convenient 
as a work office. Yes, like it. Papa John's is as delicious as Pizza Hut. There you go. Don't mm -hmm. lie, girl. Come on, don't lie, but I like the grammar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I respect your opinion. Uh-huh. Give me one more, guys. Um, uh, try to use now. Right now. No, motorcycle doesn't have as much comfort as cars. Got it. Got it. Um, You're doing great. The public, the public yeah. education doesn't have much resources as private education. Mm -hmm. That would be many, many resources. Many. Mm -hmm. No, but yeah, many resources. Many, okay. Okay, uh -huh. apartment, apartment doesn't have as much parking as house. As houses. Houses. A mm -hmm. Apartment doesn't have as much parking as houses. Now, keep in mind, though, that if you say parking spaces, that's countable. Parking is... Uh, and, uh -huh. But parking in general, it is, it is uh, uncountable. Good job. Okay. okay. All right. So let's go ahead and, and go back, guys. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So we are coming back on track. Now um, I need a couple of examples before I let you go. I need one volunteer for noun, one volunteer for adjective. Uh huh. Just one. Come on. Don't be shy. For me. for adjective. Okay, no, me. Uh huh. Bicycles are just as funny as walk. As walking. I'm walking, okay, uh -huh. thank you. Okay, as as fun, that would be as fun. As fun. Mm -hmm. Funny, es que te hace reír. Yo me, o sea, ah, yes, I remember. Si ven la bicicleta, <laughs> vas riendo. Ha, 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 bicicleta. <laughs> right? Fun es que usted se divierte, pero no necesariamente se parte de la risa. Good job, okay. Noemi. Um, I had the, the other one with um, nouns. Adjective. Ah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, public education uh -huh. is less as much effective as private education. Uh, private education is less effective as public education. Uh, private education uh -huh. is less as much uh, effective as uh, excuse me mm -hmm. public education is less as much uh, effective oh. as private edu education all right in this case it's gonna be if you want to use effective that's an adjective and you can say private yeah. education isn't or is, depending on your point of view. Private education is as effective as public education or private education isn't as effective as public education. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have to fix that a little bit. So guys, thank you very much. I know it's time. I'm gonna let you go and I'm in, a, in a second. Remember, um, a recommendation that I give you is for you to try to understand the structure. Okay, once you understand the structure, it's about practicing and having vocabulary. Okay, vocabulary is very important. Try to learn from seven to ten, from seven, seven to five words every day. Entre siete y cinco palabras cada día. Y tip número uno, entender la estructura. Si ustedes entienden, es como poner, no sé, parte de un rompecabezas. Ustedes ahí pueden saber qué va. All right. Once you understand the structure, try to learn vocabulary. So my recommendation is for you to have a debate. Okay? Mi recomendación es que ustedes tengan un debate en el chat, ya sea hoy en la noche, si no tienen sueño todavía, o de aquí a mañana, preferiría que si tienen chance ahorita, y pongan, este, por ejemplo, dice Rodolfo, this is my example. Lo pone, 
y todo lo demás, todos los demás verifican si está bien o mal. Ese ejemplo. Y tengan un debate. Sí, está bien por esto y esto, está mal por esto y esto. Boom. Luego viene Gaby y pone otro. Este tema, que sé que hay que tocarlo un poquito más porque se nota, lo pueden debatir en el chat. ¿Ok? Ok. Okay. All right, guys. So, thank you very much for being a part of English Corporativo. This is Alejandro Narbona. Practice makes perfect. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night.